Yo, it's really bright and it's really warm now. It's like 1 p.m. on Monday. I'm leaving early because I gotta go to the Educational Research Center for our monthly meetings. There was a moment today that I got kind of annoyed. Ah, oh, it's too windy. I have to tell you guys later when I get back home. Okay, so the story. The fifth grade teacher, I write all the lesson plans for him and for that class. I don't really have to do that, but I like doing it because sometimes the flow of the book is kind of weird or like it doesn't teach certain things in detail, certain very important things. For example, what subject do you like? The what blank do you like structure is ingrained in them all the way back from first grade. So they know that. But do they truly understand it? Because now I'm introducing this word that is want and it can be used to make sort of like more complex ideas in Japanese. So I wanted to explain what do you want to be and what do you want to study. So I, I wanted to explain the difference between what subject do you like versus what do you want to study because it's close but it's not quite the same and they need to truly understand want and then also want to be right and want to verb and I really want to hammer that down and in fact I proved I realized that they really don't understand want yet because when we asked like what does want mean nobody answered and so the thing that annoyed me was like so after the the first two periods were six grade classes which interestingly enough sixth grade english teacher she was like hey can you um lead the class for the very beginning they had testing today like a speech test um so basically i just had to lead them towards like practicing but it's funny that like she left me uh, for like 10 15 minutes in the beginning of class and i was like yeah it's fine and it worked out fine but right after the second period the fifth grade teacher come rush comes rushing to me and he's like hey this is last minute i'm sorry but can we switch from third class and then instead do the first class and I was like wait what he's like you have the lesson ready right and I'm like in my head I was like wait no because I usually do the lesson plan one or two days in advance generally one day in advance because if I do it too early I'm just gonna have to redo it if they're not really catching what I'm trying what we're trying to teach but thankfully I did do the lesson in advance because I'm going to the educational research center today and so I told him like, I don't think I have it, but I know what to do, so it'll be fine. So I had like 20 minutes to prepare. And then when I checked the binder, I was like, oh, I already made the lesson plan. All I have to do is print out these uh, worksheets that we're gonna use. So it's all done, all good. So I was like, all right, that was not the annoying part. It was when we were teaching the lesson. So we went from what do you want to study? The new thing today is what do you want to be? So basically what occupation, what job do you want to do and in my head this is a very important question because at this age they have their dreams and aspirations the things that they love to do i think it's important to foster that it's important to push them to to try what they want to do and a lot of kids not so much in this in this school actually but i heard this before coming to japan a lot of kids want to be youtubers right I resonate with them because I want to make this YouTube thing work and I will make it work, right? I want this to be my career. What annoyed me was like, so I had set up this structure which was like, what do you want to be? Um, and then there's this picture dictionary that we have and we just, you know, I, I repeat the words that they have on there. Of course, YouTuber is not on there. But in the bottom of the teacher's edition, there are a bunch of these other extra ones just in case the kids they're all on there because the kids might ask those specific questions. For example, a lot of kids want to be mangaka or a cartoonist, manga creator, right? Or a game creator. They're all on that book because they are anticipating that the kids would want to be like that. And it's important that we teach them that because it's going to stick more into the brain, the structure that is, what do you want to be? I want to be. If that is what they really want to be, then they will remember the grammar better. So it was like, what do you want to be? And I had put on there as an example, I want to be a teacher. How about you? I want to be a nurse. See you, see you, right? It's like that, super simple. And then when we were doing it, the teacher likes to change it up, even though I wrote uh, an example there. And he does this a lot, even if it's not in the book. And this is what irks me because it, it doesn't annoy me usually because it's a good thing, right? For example, if it's food, like what do you want to eat? I want to eat curry and rice the curry and rice is in the picture dictionary right so the kids know it he would he always says i want to eat 
sausage curry. And the kids are like, what? Sausage curry? Oh, sausage curry, curry from like Kokoichi. And that's cool, right? It's, it's like funny, it's entertaining, it's intriguing, but it's not exactly on the book. I think it's a good thing. It's just that it's so sudden, like, whoa. I enjoy it because I want to do it too. I want to keep changing it. This time, so the teacher did say, all right, we're going to change it now. I said, I want to be a teacher. How about you? And he said, I want to be a PE teacher. And then he whispers in Japanese, this is what I really want to do. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he said, all right, like now we're going to practice again, but now we're going to change the example. So I was like, okay. And then I go, I want to be a YouTuber. And then the teacher, um, and I was expecting some laughs, but the kids were pretty silent. But the truth is, I really want to be a YouTuber. Of course, I didn't say that. But then the teacher was like, makes an X with his fingers and says, boo boo. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? What is wrong? It irked me because it's one of two things that he's saying I did wrong. One, oh, you said YouTuber, but it's not in the textbook. It's not in the picture dictionary. You shouldn't say what's not in the textbook. And I'm like, bro, you keep on changing up the examples to things that are not exactly on the textbook, but they're still slightly correct. Or they're correct. They're just not in the textbook or the picture dictionary. So why can't I do it, right? The second thing that annoyed me even more is like, maybe he doesn't consider YouTubing to be a proper career. And that annoyed me. I was like, bro, what? Or the third thing, which is like, maybe he doesn't want these kids to have any ideas that like to become a YouTuber. So he's like thinking it's just a massive joke. That's what I felt like is he was kind of smiling and like kind of it's like, haha, YouTuber, like, bro, no, don't say jokes like that right now. This is a class, this shit is serious. That annoyed me because there was like this pause where he's like, boo -boo, and I was like, what's wrong? Like YouTuber. In fact, we have that picture. We have that as a uh, flashcard in our flashcards collection. In fact, I want to pull it out and like put it on there. Boom, boom, boom. YouTuber, what's up? And I want the kids to use it because if they want to be a YouTuber, let them be a YouTuber. If they fail, that's on them. But it just really annoyed me that it's like, let me say it. He could have just la laughed and be like, aha, YouTuber. It was super annoying to me because I was like, bro, like I'm going to become a rich and famous YouTuber and then I'm going to go back, talk to him, be like, hey, remember that one time we did that own lesson? And guess what? I'm a YouTuber now. And I am right now. I mean, you're watching this video, but it just really annoyed me. Anyways, I'm running out of time because I'm talking. Uh, I need to like try to send that box again for my friend with the Starbucks tumblers. That is his gift for his girlfriend. But I have to print the document, the, the shipping label. So we gotta go now, the convenience store. Whew. Finally got to send it. It cost almost 2,000 yen, so almost 20 bucks to do a two week air mail. And it weighs about like one kilogram ish. Nate, it's coming for you. Just wait. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna order a pound of steak in the conversion, so I'm like 250. That sounds like not. Oh boy. So uh, there were like little raindrops falling on my head as I was running. Decided to go a little bit further today, so I finished with around 5.2 miles. But the 5 miles I was able to do average pace of 12 minutes. Although I did it as like 11 minutes, 11 minutes, 14 minutes, and then 11 and 9 minutes. So I'm just glad I was able to do the very last mile in under 10 minutes. And yeah, I felt good running. So even though I'm like kind of heavy right now, I'm still kind of heavy compared to when I was running a lot in the US right before I came here. Yeah, thankfully the rain didn't keep going because that would have sucked. All right, I'm gonna take a shower and then uh, chillax. Yep. Yeah.